What's up Star Wars fans? Hope you're all doing well. We're back for another and the third one of this lot of uh, action figure reviews from the Black Series. We've got number 72, the Imperial Patrol Trooper. Number 72. There he is on the front of the box there. Awesome art as always by Mr. Gregory Titus. We have the little, little right up there. As the Empire reinforces its hold on worlds across the galaxy, local defense forces are being supplemented and eventually completely replaced with Imperial Stormtroopers. To cover distances across sprawling settlements and cities, patrol Stormtroopers police the streets and alleys aboard swift interceptor speeder blacks. So, very much in the same similar vein as the Scout Troopers. Um, but yeah, probably more so for as an inner city urban environment as opposed to the scouts that probably do a little bit more out on a uh, terrain like Endor and uh, yeah he's, he's looking pretty cool he's definitely like a cross between a stormtrooper and a scout trooper this is probably what you'd get this is not a full body of armor uh, like the scout and sort of got this got lots of black going on as well throughout the armor and uniform it's sort of very reminiscent of the Scout. Got the small blaster. Um, I was kind of hoping this guy would come out in a bit, bit of a deluxe set with the speeder bike. Um, I've no doubt they'll revisit it in the future. I think that would be a cool addition. Um, just to have one of them at least. Even if we'd seen a couple of these guys just walking around in the movie, it would would, would probably be more suitable to have these guys single carded. Or I just I thought they'd come with a speeder bike. But uh, that's just me. So we'll get a close up look of his helmet. And it's still kind of the early days of the Empire, so we haven't quite got to the. Uh, well, we're starting to get into the Imperial Stormtroopers. There aren't, as, there don't seem to be as many around. Um, in the style that we're, that we remember and you know, the original trilogy, there's sort of different ones out there, you know, there's the Mimban stormtroopers are all um, not not fully masked troops. The helmet on this one is, it's got a little, harkens back a little bit to the old Macquarie stormtroopers, um, just in the shape of the mouth and the, uh, the shape of the visor a little bit. I mean, this is still one single visor, whereas that one was had two separate eyepieces, but it still looks pretty good. I like the back. I like the chest armor too. I think that looks good. Accessory wise, he's got his little little two trigger finger pistol here. I like that they've sculpted the hands that way. He also has this baton. And that just slots nicely in that sort of belt there. Fits tight. Looks good. Got a working holster. Just all the details around the belt. Pretty good. And black trousers with a white stripe down the side. The shin armor there looks good. White boots. It's like the uh, Mimban Stormtrooper, they've got this sort of extra sort of thing on top of the helmet there. It's almost like a visor that doesn't flip down, it's like a stops them from hitting their heads on closing doors. Shouldn't have got rid of them. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed the way they're, in, they're uh, increasing the Imperial ranks, giving a little bit more diversity. I mean, along for a long time, we really just had Stormtroopers, uh, Sand Troopers effectively being the same thing, Snow Troopers and Scouts, and now we've got Shore Troopers, Imperial Patrol Troopers like this one, uh, Death Troopers, we've got all sorts. I hope, they, I hope they start putting some more out there. I think that'd be really, really cool. Just seeing some of those specialist forces for different different installments and different jobs throughout the galaxy.
So articulation on this one, got the ball jointed head, ball hinged neck, hinged shoulders, hinged elbows, hinged ball hinged wrists. He's got the upper torso joint there, which gets a lot of movement. Look at him rocking around there. So the hinged hips, swivel thighs, double joint in the knees. Again, really nicely hot hit in the mold there. Looks pretty, really good. And then uh, ball hinged ankles as well. A very another nice imperial trooper to go in amongst the ranks. So definitely looking to get a second one of this guy at some stage. So again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I'll be back very soon with some more. Got some podcasts to record on the weekend. Looking forward to dropping those. And uh, yeah, I've got Tobias Beckett and the Rebel Fleet Trooper, which I will record and drop next week. Just want to keep keep some content back to flow out over the next couple of weeks. So until then, stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching, and may the Force be with you, always.